Hello everyone. Today my topic is Microsoft Visual Studio and Microsoft Visual Studio Code. Why we have to choose one of these or both of these one for our developments? Microsoft Visual Studio, it's a very powerful integrated development environment. We call it IDE. And uh, also uh, we, we know about Visual Studio Code. That's a, just a code editor but it works with many languages, actually more than the Visual Studio uh, editions. And uh, it's supporting through uh, something called extension. So when you use many extension, you can uh, you have a, a, a unlimited way of writing uh, codes with any languages. So before we jump into, uh, to see how to install Visual Studio and Visual Studio code, we want to know that uh, what are the versions available in Visual Studio and uh, the additional features and why it's uh, uh, how, how to pay and what are the free versions of that. So let's go to the Visual Studio site here and then uh, we found that three versions are there, three main uh, versions which is Community Editions and Professional Edition and Enterprise. So what is Community Editions? But the free editions are free for students open source contributors and individuals. So commonly, it's free for everyone. The second thing that is a professional versions is best suited for the small teams. Let's say we have a team around uh, one to 10 people and then you have to share your programming codes. There are something that we will come to that later. The enterprise one is a scalable and end-to-end -end solution for teams of any size. So if we have a company uh, multi uh, sister companies and you are developing many development cycles and many people are developing at the same time this is the best suit so uh, we, we just saw that uh, basic uh, differences in in uh, among these uh, three versions but let's go in uh, in detail and see that they're saying that why the community version and the professional version and the enterprise versions are uh, differ at first license and also for the uh, come to the payment uh, terms. So here mainly you see that if it is four, four circles are colored, that means all features are available and three is the most features available, some features are available and few features are available. So according to the, the versions of the Visual Studio, you can see the colors here, support usage scenarios and Visual Studio Community Editions give you most of the features are covered here, but the professional and the enterprises are covering all of them. And similarly, you can just see all the, the services, the features they are supporting to you based on your versions. For an instance, uh, I, I, I would like to choose for the testing tools here. So when you go to the testing tool, live unit testing, Windows community version, and also a professional version they don't support, only the enterprise version. So similarly, the four options are supported by the enterprise version, the unit testing, are supported by all of them because this is one of the most uh, important features that has to be uh, provided free of charge. So you can just play around this area and you can identify the things. So now our main topic is how to go, how to download a community editions and how to install that. The latest version of Visual Studio 2022 which is developed by Microsoft, it's supporting a Windows operating system at the same time for the Mac OS as well. So if you if you have a Mac OS only and you don't, you don't need to worry about it, you can install Visual Studio 2022. The supports are given by the Microsoft, but uh, they don't support Linux at the moment. Maybe in the sooner, in the future, in the near future, they might support Linux as well. Uh, at the same time, we have to talk about the Visual Studio Code as well. Visual Studio Code, they have a support for Windows and Mac and Linux as well. So it supports almost all the platform that's available uh, at the moment. And also, uh, as I told you, it's a, co it's a code editor. So we, we come to very clear understanding here, uh, Visual Studio and the Visual Studio Code. I would like to show you also a comparison between Visual Studio and Visual Studio Code. And, uh, they say that Visual Studio is an integrated development environment, also known as IDE, Visual Studio Code, is a code editor. A developer can easily edit their code, but this is an IDE, integrated development environment with the many options here. Second thing that they are identifying in Visual Studio is slower when it comes to performing across different platforms. 
And machine to studio code is comparatively faster than that. And the additional things that uh, the IntelliSense, Visual Studio Inc. is the best and the most advanced IntelliSense. So we, we, uh, you, will, you will see that when you are developing it. IntelliSense means, for example, when you, uh, when you type uh, the, the object and press dot, all the properties and methods will display to you. It's much easier. The variable names, when you type the uh, beginning of the name and press control space, it display the complete name of the variable. These are the IntelliSense that uh, it will help you. Intelligence in the Visual Studio codes comparatively is less than that. And there are so many things are available here. I'll put also this uh, this comparison on the description of the YouTube video so you can go through that. Before we start downloading a Visual Studio Community Edition, so I would like to show you the way how to download Visual Studio code because it's very light and it's very easy to install. And... Uh, and here, so when I click free download of Visual Studio Code, it's asking you the versions of uh, Windows or a type of operating systems. So if you have a Mac OS Universal, you can download this package and Linux 64-bit and Linux 64-bit, there are some uh, different type of installer. And if you have additional option that you want, you can click more. But I'm going to go with the Windows X64 user installation because since my Windows is a 64-bit version, I'm going to install that. Most of your cases, you will find 64-bit version, but only few of you might have Windows 32-bit uh, version. So how do you identify 32-bit or 64-bit of version that you are using now? You go to the My Computer. I go to My Computer here, and this is called this PC. And right-click on this PC and go to properties i'm using windows 11 so you will find the different menus uh, with windows 10 but they are the same so click properties on my computer and you will find it here the system type is 64 bit operating system in a 64 based processor so my process is also 64 bit based processor and also the operating system 64 bit process, uh, operating system so this is you you want to know that in case if you use 32 bit of version then you have to download the 32 bit of version so I'm going to click now and Windows X64. Uh, I hope that the download begins here. So here, confirm download. So I'm saying keep this file. So it takes uh, maybe a couple of minutes to download that. It's uh, how big is it? 88.77 MB. Right. So it's almost end of uh, downloading. Okay, so it's downloaded now. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to install this. This is the installer. Visual Studio Code user setup x64 and the versions numbers are here. So I'm going to double click this. And the first thing is the license agreement. So I just accept the license agreement. If you want to go through the license agreement, you can read that. Most of the times, uh, you know, we don't uh, read any agreements. And then I press next. And where do you want to install? Especially you have to remember the path. I mean, uh, if you have a SSD or M.2 slot, it's much better to install on the faster hard drive to access faster. So I press next now and Visual Studio Code and next. And if you want to create an icon on that, create the uh, desktop icon. And the, the rest of the things, it's fine. Press next and install. It's almost uh, done. And it's pretty straightforward installation. It's very easy. That's it. So I installed the Visual Studio Code setup. So now I can I can launch the Visual Studio Code. I say click finish and it's launching now. And yeah, my projects are opening here. I'm going to close my folder. So basically this is Visual Studio Code. Fine. Now let's go back to the Visual Studio Community Editions. I'm going to the community edition now. So I'm going to download. This is uh, playing a big role actually because uh, in the beginning it will it will do a lot of help for you than the Visual Studio Code. 
Visual Studio Code, you can use it for HTML, JavaScript, and other things. I'm not limiting it actually, but you can go with many things. But this is since it's IDE integrated uh, development environment, it will help you a lot. So I'm going to download the community edition now. So I'm going to click free download. And here the Chrome is uh, posing to my download. So I have to click that and it's asking you to confirm download. I'm going to keep this file. I'm clicking give this file and it's just a 2 MP file actually. So what they are doing is they are giving you uh, a basic install actually. And that installer will download the files. So I download the Visual Studio setup. Then I double click this. It's uh, the user access control prompt on my screen to saying that you want to continue. Yeah, I said yes. So now the Visual Studio installer comes and you have to go next. You have to click continue. And it's doing some uh, installers actually. That's it. So you come to the window where you want to install your uh, uh, the options of the Visual Studio community editions. See here, this is very important that uh, what are the components that you want to install, you have to choose it here. Because since it's the IDE, it comes with a lot of options here. So now, uh, very simply, uh, there is something called .NET Desktop Development. This is a classic uh, development of Windows. If you want to install like a, a Windows Desktop Application Development, so you need that. So I'm going to click this. And the second thing that if you want to work with the ASP.NET and web development, you need that. And if you want to work with the Node.js and development, any of the meantime, I don't need. And also make sure that whenever you check tick something, it's using the total space requirements, which is 8.47 GB of data. I'm sorry, sorry, the 8.47 GB of space on your hard drive. So you have to make sure that you really need the, the component that you're installing. The second thing that the Python development, editing, uh, interactive development, source control, and Python, if you want Python development, you can take. So now before it was 8.47, now it's 8.6. Just come down. If you want to develop a Unity game development with a Unity, you can also take it, but I, I don't need that. And if you need data storage and processing, Visual Studio extension development, Linux and embedded development with C Sharp and Office SharePoint, and data science, there's so many things are there actually, but I don't want all of them. And now they are supporting also a mobile development with C++, build cross-platform application for iOS and Android for Windows using C++, but it's up to you if you want that. For the meantime, what we are going to do now, uh, I'm going to use a Windows uh, desktop development and ASP content with uh, web development and the Python development. So finally, I selected three options. And I'm going to install now. Let's see what's going on. Right. So it's showing you the title here. We should studio your community editions 2022. And it should download now a 2.58 GB of data. So you have to make sure that you have enough bandwidth, enough uh, data in your, in your package. Or if you have unlimited package, it's fine. Anyhow, it can be paused. Let's say if you don't have a data, you can pause it here. And then you can come back and reload your package and download. Uh, at the same time here, the, the, the new technology of Microsoft, while it's downloading, installing packages as well. So it needs to download 466 packages based on your selection that we did. We selected three categories actually. So based on the selections, 466 uh, packages. So seven out of uh, 466 are already installed and let's keep on downloading here. Anyhow, it will take long time to to complete that so I'm going to skip uh, most of the the downloading part here now the downloading is almost done it took almost uh, 30 minutes based on my internet speed and uh, it's launching the, the Visual Studio so we have completed already and it's loading, uh, saying, okay, my name and getting everything's ready for you. This may take a few minutes. Done. So we install it already. And then uh, it's launched by automatic. Anyhow, I'm going to close this now. I'm going to explain to you something. In the later, in case if you want to add some additional uh, components that you want, you can always go to the, the modify option 
or you can go to the add or remove control the control panel i'm going to say uh, add uh, or remove programs then here you can in the top you can search easily for uh, visual so you go to the visual studio installer you don't need to go to the community station again you can just go to the installer here and you can say modify so it's launch again the same thing that come back to you click the modify button then you can add any additional things you want let's say you plan to install the node.js development later so you can add it and similarly you can add any components that you want and just click uh, install button here it will download and install so always it's installing from the, the web so that's it so we install it all so where can we find the, the visual studio now so you can find here visual studio 2021 which is recently added or i can search it here visual studio 2022 so i'm going to pin this to my taskbar so it's, i can find it here and when i click that it's loading launching the visual studio 2022 let's try to create a small project simply i don't i don't want to spend too much time just click the new project here and then uh, and I'm going to choose the language C sharp, which is uh, demonstrated by a professor in the last uh, session. Then I'm going to choose the Windows application and I'm going to use the desktop applications here. So I'm going to use Windows Home application and double click that. It's asking for the project name. I say uh, a sample application. And uh, in these things, you will learn it later what type of uh, uh, what framework that you're going to use. I'm going to use framework 4.7.2 and I just create the project. It's generating a project and then blank forms comes here and then uh, still uh, in the process of uh, creating the project. I double click the form and I go to the toolbox. You can create a button here. Create a button here. If you want, you can put a text box. You can explore so many things here. Fine. So that's it. We completed the installation of Visual Studio Code and also Visual Studio Community Editions. Anyhow, just uh, open any projects and uh, work around here and then let me know uh, what are the difficulties and uh, things that you face during the installation and after the installation as well thank you so much for watching